is, is Slate wrote that representing death as wrong gives it greater power, especially when people do die. I mean, I think even in an indefinite lifespan scenario, people will die, right? I mean, even if we were able to eliminate the natural causes of death, there would be accidents, there might, tragically might be wars or terrorism or meteor strikes or whatever. So is it right to tell children that death itself is wrong and should be eliminated? I would say that while reversing senescence is not in itself a panacea for all death, I do think it will alter the way people treat other perils in terms of their risk aversion, to use a concept that's commonly utilized in the insurance world. So if a person has more to lose, if a person has, say, 500 potential years of life to lose from an accident or from an act of crime, that person is going to be a lot more careful and a lot more interested in averting that peril. For instance, I think indefinitely long-lived individuals will be a lot more interested in riding in autonomous vehicles where the possibility of human error causing an accident is greatly reduced, if not eliminated. I think they'll also have a longer time horizon. They'll want to avert larger scale crises and disasters that could make life very unpleasant and short otherwise, such as wars, uh, pollution, even uh, longer term natural uh, disasters, ice ages, for instance, or a meteor strike. I think people who have hundreds of years to look forward to or thousands of years to look forward to potentially are going to be a lot more attentive to these kinds of risks. And that means through the progress of science and technology, we'll have a better world in those respects as well. Last question then. Uh, why kids? Why a kid's book? Why not just write an adult book making these arguments, making this case? Uh, what made you decide to gear this this uh, rather unusual argument by most standards towards young people? It's because young people are today really only exposed to rationalizations for death, either religious or secular. When they first encounter the existence of death, they're met with consolations or excuses. They're told that death is natural, or uh, you go to heaven after you die, so you really live on, or it's not going to come uh, for a long time for most kids, so put it out of your mind. And I wanted to introduce them to a different perspective. It's surely not the only perspective they'll be exposed to, but I want them to consider that it may be possible to defeat the primary cause of death uh, within existing human lifespans. And if so, that's a really worthwhile effort. I want these kids to go into fields where they could make a difference. I hope this book inspires a lot of kids to become scientists, engineers, medical doctors, or philosophers and activists, however they're inclined, so that they can make a difference. And at the same time, they could improve their lives and contribute to the world in a really good way.